Hey, this is Nick. And this is Mark. And, and this, this is, is the Guns, Guns and Gory, Gory Podcast. Podcast. Hey! Guns and Gory! This is our podcast. This is uh, Sir Nick. And yeah, this is Sir Mark. We already did this part, you we fucker. We did this other part, but... All right, thing whatever. Is, Continue. This is a podcast that we're doing, and yeah. we're just here to talk about guns and horror movies and everything. Anything. everything. Like, Star Wars. Anything you oh, can imagine. God. Mental health. Yeah, we'll touch on mental health Food. in weird ways. Everything, everything. Even if we get comments about topics, we can even talk about that. We're hoping to travel. Yeah, we're hoping to do a lot of things. Well, Nick's hoping to do a lot of things. Yeah, I have a lot of hopes, but at the end of the day, it's just for entertainment. So, hoping that you'll give us a, a listen and uh, maybe come and enjoy some of the... Uh, some of the debauchery and yes, yes. sanctity and everything God only knows. Chaos. Dream. Chaos. chaos. Dream. I like chaos. Okay. So this isn't actually the first episode. This is just kind of an introductory. Right. Uh, it's not going to be like the normal format or whatever. We still don't even completely have that completely figured out. But you know what? You can join that journey with us. Uh, hydrated. So, it'll 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 be a fun journey. So I I do recall a very early memory with you. Oh God! Of uh, we were at the hot dog shop here in New Brighton, mm-hmm. which that is a very big staple yes. in the world. We are. This is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, New Brighton, northern north yeah. of Pittsburgh, if, Pennsylvania. If you're listening from somewhere else, and if you are, that's weird. Mm-hmm. But okay. So, uh, you know, we were we were down there and. Uh, on a Friday night after a football game, how 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 like horror movie beginnings or like Ugh. Red Dawn kind of shit could that sound like? I had a whole night of being a nerdy <laughs> ass band loser. Absolutely, absolutely. You were fresh out of uh, basic training. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I think you have a hard time remembering this. Yeah, I, I don't remember a lot of my childhood. So I I do <laughs> recall that. Uh, A friend of ours, Alex, was sitting next to me, and he pinched a piece of ice, and it flew up over the divider wall and onto a table, a table that was being preoccupied by Alex's sister, who he was messing with, but you didn't know that, and you really didn't like Alex at first. It was quite funny. I don't know that I really ever liked him that much. Well, well, yeah. I, I, no offense if you're listening, Alex. I mean, well, you're a jerk, actually. You you can come you can come on, but yeah, you're I'm gonna have gonna you're gonna nice. have some splaining to do. I'm not gonna be nice. Oh boy. So anyhow, he's sitting there and he pinches that piece of ice. It goes over the table and you flipped out on him. <laughs> you yelled at him, and I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> I hope he smacks the fuck out of you, Alex. Oh, my God. You didn't. You held back. But I heard that military, that, in you. And I was yeah. just like, oh, that's a cute doggy. Come on. He go be my friend. Man, I was all, Literally. like, straight-laced for, like, four months after that. <laughs> it still reflects. You still do weird shit from yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. It, it, it changed you for the better, I, I, yeah. I think, in certain ways. At least for the survival aspect of it. Yeah. We Good know. Lord. We've known each other for, oh God, I don't even know how long. My fancy pillows here. Well, we met at church, right? Well, no, yeah, because I was friends with Jessica. Yeah. Jessica's a crucial crucial part of every story. Uh, maybe. Well, most of them. In our childhood, I guess, she was around a lot. And yeah. kind of a central point for yeah. all of us. Oh, Wow. I mean, I can remember being in a car accident and her picking us up. Not us, but, uh, you know, those of us that were there. I remember her yelling at me a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you, I mean, you deserved always. it too. Yeah, she was just true. like your mom. I always deserved it. Oh, absolutely. Jeez, a day. The, um, that's what, one of the times I was reminiscing about my mother. The, uh, it, that got brought up was, was, it was like my mom trusted me to be with Jessica and Jessica was just like, Oh God, another one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Oh, and like, that's one of still one of her biggest gripes to this day is having to, to go out of her way to drop me off Yeah, down in hunky alley. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was always, Oh, Oh man. But then, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we went to church together after that. Yep. We went to youth group after that. Um, Did a lot of crazy stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. A lot of, a lot of crazy, like home, homegrown weird stuff. Like, you know, I, I, I have, I have memories of things that we heard other people were doing in other towns and that's when it started in our town. Yeah. You know, yeah. like weird stuff. I was talking to somebody just last night at sheets, uh, about being from this area, you know, uh-huh. the gravitational pull and whatnot that this area seems to have and uh, how people don't talk about it a whole lot. You know, I'm not saying we're the Centralia, Pennsylvania, and we deserve some crazy story. Although, I mean, there are some crazy stories that come from this area. I There's mean, we a lot had a of over embellishment to rail. Yeah, multiple we had... times. Well, well no, in yeah. this area. Oh God, everybody's freaking out now. Oh my gosh, it's like everybody's freaking out about that, and it's now like, ah, oh, that happened right down here. It was horrific. Oh, was I terrible. actually saw somebody post about it that lives two states away. Yeah, and I'm like, it was yep. like a picture of the basin or whatever. Yeah, and how the, it was gonna go into the watershed, and and I was like, dude, I live like 15 minutes from there the gas station that it ran into or whatever happened like i got my gas there now i'm uh, like god damn it i have to drive further <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's anyways. crazy that's crazy i'll tell you what and then what else there's a couple crazy things that happened in our town well um, anything anytime the weather was too bad we always had crazy days at school yeah. You know, if you made it to school, if you were dumb enough to make it to school, you yeah. had a pretty fun day, you know, on days that like, oh, did you ever get stuck out there on a day where it was like, no, school is canceled, but there's like 19 of you that came. No, uh, I usually would not just go to school. I did get truancy twice. That's remember? true. That's true. Well, that was my ultimate demise as well. Yeah. I won't claim to be any good student yeah, to anywhere. I, was... I wasn't a good student to. I was not very I, present. At I want to contribute, though. I do. I have. I have aspirations for that. Have I told you about that? No. I do. I have aspirations of of uh, helping the current educators in the school that I failed out of. Uh, and, and I want. I want to uh, spread my my knowledge of firearms and history, United States history. Yeah, you want to do a firearms course in a school? I don't think they will. Yeah, not necessarily that. You know, I I will. I I say the most daring part. I think I could go about it without being an utmost professional. Uh huh. Um, I, I think would be when I if I open it up for Q and A, especially yeah. if with U S with U S uh, U S history, and even if I did just the military portion of that. Yeah. Uh, I, I still think that I would uh, I would stir up enough questions in the general public of kids, yeah. you know, a, a, a future. Uh, what is it they say in the, jur- in, the in a courtroom? Uh, a peer of your jury, a jury of your peers. Of yes, your peers, thank you. A jury of your peers, a future jury of my peers get oh. to ask me a question. And, and I am going to you take know, that. I'm going to take that opportunity to to shape correctly. Yeah the minds of the future and just and and that's based off of all opinions i think their first question to you would be like who the fuck are you who the fuck are you yeah yeah i'd have to tell you i mean i've i've worked in a gun (laughs) shop for 11 years this july yes yeah you're Uh, the biggest gun nerd i know yeah and 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 i'm one too so that's saying a lot well and you like you planted seeds 
yes, for the yes, interest, you absolutely. know. You were some of the first. Oh, you... when I pulled the AK. Oh, my God. Jessica, that is Jesus that what seed, sowed the seeds for you, Nicholas? No, because it didn't <laughs> go off that night. We'll have to tell the story about yes, the AK, absolutely. though. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good we've one. got an AK story. It's a shame we don't a... know where that AK Couple. is anymore. Yeah, there. Yeah, it. you've had them. Yeah, you're you're one of those dudes that set, can say, I've had and given away and lost and stolen and 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 stolen, not stolen, but like uh, 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 acquired by trade. Uh, what the? Uh, yeah, you got one in trade once. Yes. I definitely got one in trade once. I'm trying to like keep up with you here. You've definitely sold them. Yes, I've and seen had it. just so many, Three. and so many people have so many AK stories, and it's funny because I've only got, I've only had like a handful. I can't hear for shit because of an AK. Oh, absolutely. Jessica's house, the tree. Yep. Yeah, the trees. Yeah, harassing. So there's a uh, oh, in yeah. New Brighton. Here is a local landmark called Lapic Winery, and just around the corner is a uh, a, a beautiful little place called. Uh, 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 Everlasting Gardens. Yeah. Um, yeah and she place. she does uh, herbal stuff. Not that kind of herbal stuff. Nothing holistic. Ha- holistic stuff, of course. So if you happen to hear this podcast and have any interest in that, go ahead and give that a Google. But um, she is right down the hill, and she gave her permission for us to fire uh, guns on her property. And it's happened many times since, but her yes. father-in-law, who has since passed away, uh, mm-hmm. came down the hill and was up in roar and I wasn't even there. I'm going to let Mark tell the rest of this part. Well, I don't really remember a whole lot, but uh, I was just, you know, taking my thing out on the tree. I didn't have earplugs in. That's why I have tinnitus because of it. Uh, um, cause ever since that day, it's just always a ringing. Everything sounds weird. But, uh, so uh. he comes down and he is snapping out. I don't really know what he's saying. Cause I, at that point, in we my and life, we knew him. Yes, we knew who it was. I didn't really care what people said to me. Yeah, so, right. But I mean, I just still like, really don't. But I don't think you probably still had that dumb squint look yeah. on your face. Like, yeah. are you talking? You're yeah. talking to me? Oh shit! I'm like, what is going on here? You're okay. you're the you're the number and one then, side note. You're the number one person I know who th- never thinks. Like you have this NPC fucking mindset <laughs> when you're like, sometimes you could be the main fucking character of this current fucking memory. And you're like, nah, man, I'm just here. Like <laughs> he'd be the number one motherfucker to be like, as long if like our Velociraptor walks in the room and Mark just stands the fuck still I'm just there and just hopes experience. it's not going to be I'm him just there for the experience. Oh, okay. So the, uh, Oh, well, so yeah, anyways, he came period. down and like yelled at me and I'm just like, oh, and I, I want to go be... inside. Yeah, I'm like, Tony. And... That was pretty much it, but that Ugh. was an experience. That was. Sure. That's crazy. Hey, all you dirty listeners. Remember when your mom told you to clean behind your ears as a kid and you didn't listen, you little nasties? Well, now with the evolution of the internet and some space science, plus a little help from that Bezos Amazon, you can buy hot and ready, ethically sourced ear potatoes delivered right to your very own door. So come check us out. Dude. 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 Oh, God. Do you remember the cold winter night? Oh, God. Jesus, this must have been sometime early 2004, 5 ish, somewhere in there, somewhere in that ballpark neighborhood. Oh, God. 6, 2006. 2006, too late. It's too late. Way too late. No, nah, 3, was... 2002, 3, 4, maybe. Probably. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, one of the winters. We're all hanging out in the house. Now, mm-hmm. you had two crews worth of friends almost at all times between Mark, Micah, and then Mark and Micah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, never everybody... You could walk between the two, but you generally, once you separated, you, you, you picked your sides. So you had a lot of people in this house this night, just trying to stay warm. Bunch of skate kids, fucking scumbags, yep. scumbags. Yeah. Scumbags. Yeah. Scumbags. Absolute sure. scumbags. The, the scum and villainy 
Of New Brighton. Of New Brighton. Absolutely. 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 The Jabba's Hot Den. Uh-huh. Raja Wookie Nipple Pinchy. <laughs> so, get out of here. So, anyhow, so fucking we go and we're just hanging out. And then we hear a rumor that another one of the crew was getting fellationed in the in the garage yes in my next garage to the house and mark did not like that mark no, did not no, like wait, that no wait hold on hold on it was my mom did not like it oh boy because somebody came back in and they're like hey this is happening this is happening oh, and so she my mom was oh, like see? really pissed off and she's like marky get rid of them and i'm like <laughs> i'm like was like yes I do remember yes, this because I'm yes. standing behind him like his fucking Igor. And I'm like, yes, yes, real, yes, real excited. I promise you. And I'm like, like, anyway. And she's like, I don't care. Just get them out of here. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> I had recently came back from basic training. And I had used a lot of my money for <laughs> uh, an AK and an AR-15. So I ran no back giddily and grabbed my AK. I didn't have any ammo in it. I wasn't an asshole. But when he knew, he knew though, those of you familiar with AKs, he knew that you could rack the bolt and it wouldn't lock back. Yeah. On AK. Yeah, you just. It's, it's very intimidating and I loved it. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, so I go out there and I like kick the door open. And they're like, oh my god, Mark, come on. And I just, ch- ch- get the fuck out. <laughs> she screams, freaks out, and runs. Oh. I don't even think she had all of her clothes on. And she just I was part ran. Of the, I was part of the outside crew. Yes, she did. Ran and was cussing me up and down. Oh, it was bad. It I was can't bad. even remember what he did. He didn't do nothing. He, he just, just left. He walked out and fell in line. He walked out. I'm telling he, you, he, he walked out and he fell in line with the rest of us. He just stood there like he didn't do nothing. Maybe, That's what maybe. he did. I'm telling you. I really don't remember. Nobody said who was I getting was fellationed in the focusing garage. Focusing on her. I'm telling you, I know who was being fellationed in the garage. Yes. Oh, yeah. And and he fell in line with the rest of us. He just started hanging out. He that, probably came up and like hiked up his shorts and was like, "Sup, guys." You know what? That that tracks actually. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But yeah, and uh, no, she. He, whew, oh boy. Did you know that uh, her dad that night? like yeah. came over about that? Uh, uh-uh. the next yeah, day. Or that I don't night? even remember that much, but yeah, he was flipping out and. For how many times? You know what? What what's funny is like all the weird things I do remember. Mm-hmm. Is the weird things that I don't remember that I know I don't yeah. remember. So like spending the night at your house, I can't tell you I ever picked a specific spot that I felt was safe. Yeah, <laughs> there was always such weird. I I spent the night there so many times. It was never the same place twice. Yeah, I uh, I didn't never feel the same safe girl in my own house when other people were there. Sometimes, <laughs> like I just. We had a lot of asshole friends. I know. And the funny thing is, is it's still your house. <laughs> now yeah, it's your yeah. house. Yeah, I now live there. I own and, it. And so it's like, oh, I can't, I, I'm terrified to go to your house. Yeah. Honest. You know what? It Every day brings back a whole lot of memories. Yeah. Like, yeah. You live in it, though. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like being, it's like uh, the, the, the. The Harry Potter dude that gotta live right next to the Moni Myrtle yeah, bullshit. I like. He just I, hears this shit all the time. He's like, "Shut the fuck up, bitch! Damn it!" Like, ah. Uh. So, so like, I'm gonna take the conch shell here for a second. For so, it. like, yeah, man, I'll be sitting on my uh my couch and just like watching TV, and then just glance up and see the off color part of my ceiling where my brother just. Fell through it one day while I'm watching TV for absolutely but, no reason at all. But he landed. He landed on the TV stand. Yes, he landed on the TV he, stand. So. so there was only like like three or four inches of of fuck. Yep. yep. <laughs> and then he's like, "Please don't tell mom." Like, come on. <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> I'm not going to tell mom. She's going to be wondering what right. happened, dude. 
How is she going to miss this? He She's was, not that short. He was silly. He was pretty silly. Oh, man. What'd she say? I, I didn't stop. Oh, she just screamed, man. I, can't I don't even. Her. She, like, when she would start yelling, you just kind of tuned her out, and it was always that <gasps> same. <laughs> Sorry, Listen, Mom, if you're listening dude, to this. It was like, it, I'm telling you, it, every time going to your house was like an episode of a show. I don't oh, know yeah. what show. It dude, was real she, fucked uh, up, but it was great. She threw a computer tower at my brother once. Yeah. Computer tower. I think I think as a parent, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, been can, times I just want to like I hang can them hear up little, I can hear little voices right yeah, now. I can hear to go them the too. Fuck upstairs right now. I you might, can use that. I might keep There's it in. There's no way you could not use that. Anyhow. I might keep it so, in. So, you know, being part of a parent and, and throwing a computer at a kid, it, it just makes sense. I, I don't think we're there yet. No, I mean, mine's pretty good, thank God. Right, I just... I got real lucky. She's sassy, though. Most of mine are good. Most of mine are good. Mine's got a mouth on her. Do you suffer from ADHD? Do you get excited every time you see something shiny? Well then, nobody gives a fuck and you just have to deal with it. Call our ADHD No Help Hotline today at 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF. Or you can get in touch with our sister organization, 1-800-YOU'RE-SCREWED. That is 1-800-YOU-ARE-SCREWED. Don't call today. She's throwing me signals, man. You ever have a woman just throw you some signals? Um, I guess. Like from across the room, you, like out in public. Looks. Like, nah, not dirty looks. Oh, like that's you what ever, I get. you ever catch a side eye of a woman out, up in like Pittsburgh, and she's like goes like this to you, and you're like, no. And you dumbass, you look that direction, and then you look to the other side because you're like, oh, maybe she meant the other. Nobody and, knows what. Yeah, no one knows what this, but they know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe. Listen, they do. And then you're a dumbass and you look the opposite. And sh- then you realize that there's a motherfucker standing next to you. She's, that's who she's fucking pointing with. Oh. And you're just a dumbass caught in the middle. I'm the end. You were having again. a great day getting some random. I felt flirted with every time. It was, it was amazing. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe I just uh, like experiencing life that way. It's just an oddball thing. I need to get a PS5. I thought you said you got one. I'm, I got one coming. I got one coming through oh, the pipeline, you know? Oh, okay. It's jingling in the balls. It's it's working its way up. I still haven't even picked what genre is going to make it really, ah, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's it's coming. it's coming. I've had mine since it released. I think like six months after I it hated released. I the PS5, man. I yeah. thought it was so ugly. Oh, I love the it. The controllers are all right. The controllers grew on me. I, I, I recognize the evolution of it all, especially with, uh, you know, it made me appreciate uh, a uh, uh, place or a PlayStation 5 controller is an Xbox controller. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Lots of inspiration. I've actually grabbed my Xbox controller multiple times thinking it was my PlayStation controller. All right. This is some ASMR time. Are you ready? Oh. So, this is going to be, you, you guys remember the feeling in your hands the first time you ever put an original Xbox controller in your hand? And I'm talking about that fat one. <laughs> that super fat one. That one so thick and so nice. But you, you played a couple games with it, and you really you really got into it. That, that light in the middle that would just burn your retina underneath it, but it was okay it was peripheral vision fuck it you love that controller and then you got this thinner that thinner one and you threw that motherfucker to the side you don't even know where it is anymore do you do you do you you swine good go find it go find it and touch it one last time and then sell that motherfucker on ebay or send it to me love you bye <laughs> wow okay I, I apologize about that that guys. yeah Little segways, I like my segways. Segway, yeah. Uh, that, so... Those big controllers, though, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Those controllers were a sexual experience. So I still want to actually talk about. Hold on, we're going to fit this in here. Okay. I would love to talk about game controllers. Game controllers. Game controllers okay. sounds okay. like. Okay. So we are both ADHD fellows. So uh, yeah, we we're gonna do this a lot probably. 
Just you're saying. Get little episod- episodical clips. Yeah, it's gonna be stupendous. All over the place, all man. All over the place. So, all right, I'd love to talk. Oh my god, my drink! I would love to talk about the evolution and our perception of it because we're there's a slight age difference between I'm, you and I. Yeah, I've been playing since the Nintendo. We've both been poor the entire yes, time. Yes, I mean, too, so. I think I had the Nintendo when like the GameCube was cool. Right, but geez, you no, the, I yeah. had it before that. Yeah, I see. I had my. My like, dad's. Like, the Sega's Genesis's were new when I got my Nintendo. Right, right. See, See, my dad and my uncle got Nintendos and Game Boys. I think, that, I think this is how much of a baller I guess my grandfather was. All of him and his two boys got Game Boys. Uh-huh. That, that one over in the cabinet. Yeah. That, that original Game Boy is my grandfather's. I used to have an original Game yeah. Boy, too. Oh, yeah. I've wanted to fight family members over it, and I'm just like, nope, this is mine. And if you try <laughs> to take it from me, I will kill you. So, uh, it's just one of my prized possessions. So, let's, so him, let's talk about the evolution of controllers. So, so for the you... controllers... The, so, the Nintendo... The Nintendo was the beginning. Yes. Right. The original yes. Nintendo. My sisters used to beat me with the controller if I would, like, win. Like, <laughs> it hurts. It really It does hurts. hurt. They do got some pretty sharp corners. Jeez. I remember my grandparents would laugh at me because I was that fat roly-poly kid, right? Yeah. And they had a console TV, so mm-hmm. I was sitting down on the floor right in front of the TV like a dweeb. Yeah. But I'd sit... We used to call it Indian style. The kids don't call oh, it Indian yeah, style anymore. Yeah. They it's call it crisscross criss cross, applesauce. applesauce. Yeah. yeah, it took me a while to feel like that. Yeah, you know, when when you when you in when you acquire, when you uh, go to the market and you acquire yourself a, a five year old daughter, just yeah. out of the blue one day, oh, oh. gorgeous girl, you know, and and you have to communicate with her like, hey, would you would you sit down like this? And watch TV, like, go just sit down like that and chill. And then you have to communicate with an already ADHD five year old mm-hmm. as an ADHD five year old boy, mm-hmm. man, and go, What do they call it when you sit like this? And, <laughs> and then she had to tell me. And it yeah. was this, and it was this like weird exchange. But yeah. Absolutely, just like that, it feels like that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, we were sitting there, and I'm sitting just like that, and my grandparents, they noticed, and they watched from behind, that I would lean. Okay. And then I'd I'd hop up, and I'd lean to the left, and I'd lean to the right, and I'd hop, and I'd squeeze my butt cheeks together to do the hop. (laughs) <laughs> like it's like I still can feel myself. Yeah, that like, immersion. Fuck you, get up there. Yep. Immersion on what? What system was that? That one? was Super Nintendo. That the was, immersion that was... on a Super Nintendo. Super, no, no, no <laughs> not Super Nintendo. Well, I did it all the way through Super Nintendo. Yeah. for sure. But that was the original Nintendo with uh, I used Super to Mario that. Brothers. I used to do yes. a lot of leaning and. Oh yeah. You just get into it, you know. Absolutely, all the way up to like. Remember when I finally got a Wii? Yeah. You know? And then uh, you have to do those things. Yeah, then you have to. But, like, I did, like, the drifting games, and I'd still be like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd be like, why do I have to exercise to play a game? Yeah. yeah. It was rough. <sighs> yeah. They must have been on crack for the Nintendo's Wii controllers. Well, then, the GameCube controllers made a lot of sense. Yeah. We're, we're, we're skipping around in, in, yeah, in history here, bit. but... GameCube controllers were nice. They still use them today. Do they really? They do. They do. You can still get a GameCube style controller for your Switch. Oh, that's right. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I kind of want one. I kind of don't care. (laughs) No, I don't. I have a Switch, but I just use the ones that came with it. Well, I think I might want to play, uh, what's it called? Uh, Super Smash Brothers. I think I might want to play that with a GameCube controller again. I think. I don't know. I it depends on how much bullshit I gotta go through to get it to work right. But the Xbox's controllers have always been really goofy. Mm-hmm. The what other ones? The They did that fat one. Yeah. They had they, they had, had the had real cool, small Xbox ones. Right. They had the real small Xbox ones, but then they had the, the aftermarket ones were really cool. Yeah. 
they have the the fan ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mike they got is stinky real fast. Mike is best friend. <laughs> the the same fella that got his dick sucked in my garage. Oh no. He had the the aftermarket Xbox controllers that had all the lights and stuff. Yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. one. I had a couple too. I had a couple too. I would always find them in like discount bins. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get that. It's only it's only nineteen dollars rather than twenty three ninety two. Ooh, it's a savings. I was under that illusion, but it was cool because my grandmother loved me because she felt like yeah. my, she felt like my dad didn't, so she had to replace it, and she did a great job. <laughs> Listen, I love grandma. She's I, you amazing. know what? When that movie Grandma's Boy came out, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> that I would get I was, ideas. All my friends are gonna make fun of me because of this fucking movie. Oh my god. I did. Oh, uh, dude, the second I heard, there's a movie coming out called Grandma's Boy. I was like, fuck. And then I, I found out what it was about. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. He's like, this is me. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Then get so high, the cheetah comes after them. So, so uh, do we want to talk about some more stuff? Tell any more stories? Or tell a little bit about our next episode? We could real definitely talk about first the episode. episode. So the real first episode, we're jumping right in from our little intro riff, uh, yeah. right into the Gigi Allen. So I hope that your uh, knowledge of punk rock history. I mean, it's and... not going to be too much. I just want to address well, that video if you saw it. Well, hey, wait, hold on. I'm not done giving them teasers. Okay, oh, so hold on. Man. Hey, well, know, we're going to talk brush about up on Brett action. Ben Margera, CKY. To get in that mindset, you know, I just want to drop all these things because that's all what what stewed to bring the G.G. Allen thing up. Yeah, because we got a lot to talk about behind the scenes yeah. or not behind the scenes, I guess, in the podcast about yeah. G.G. Allen. Yeah. Now that we've now that we've connected I ourselves. Mean, he's he's and a pretty history. trashy person, but, but yeah, it's, it's well, that's what's awesome about it. It was um, shocking. We hey, you were never covered in your own shit. I mean, shit, you know right? what? He he's actually a, a pretty big idiot, and that is a, what our first. Uh, That's a good see. Season, first episode is going to be about the biggest idiots we know, or carp you idiot. know, or anybody's known. Yeah. You know, seize the carp. Some of the dumbest stories, dumbest people we've ever heard of. Oh God. Yep. That that'll probably be a little bit of fun. You know what the one I think I have the one story I don't think I have. What? Is somebody losing a finger? Somebody right losing in front a finger? of me, losing a finger right in front. Yeah, of me. I don't. I don't have that one. I don't have that one yet. I I think it's one of those yet things, and I hope I'm not that motherfucker. Yeah, uh, that would be really funny if you were that motherfucker. Man, I hope not. <laughs> I really like all of my fingers. They have a fan club. You don't need your pinky. No, you do, man. To grip a sword. Oh, yeah, you're realistically going to grip a sword I'm telling in 2023. Yeah, hell yeah. What if the zombies, the COVID zombies come, I mean, bro? nobody can see this, but he just pulled a katana out of literally nowhere. Yeah, well, that's the shit is that, that happens. Is that a real one or is that a that's training a, one? That's a training one. Do not hit me with it. It hurts. Why do you know me so well? I know, because I know we've, listen, we've been standing in my, the same scene that just happened here. We, we... We were standing in my grandmother's house and probably in my room playing with the swords and we just took a whack at each other oh, at least yeah. once. Just You once. know what? That wouldn't be the first time I've gotten the shit beat out of me with a sword though. I know. You needed it a lot though. Yeah. You required it. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to leave your ugly children in the forest only for them to find their way back home to you? Well, here at H. Keller's Child Services, we are offering a rapid response, quick removal, ugly child service. Call us today at 1-888-UGLY-BE-GONE and your ugly children will be placed in thriving communities full of deaf and blind who will appreciate them for the ugly little shits they are. Call us today! Alright, so uh, we decided that we were going to leave you guys with a one story. more story. One more story. One more story. Um, about our teenage years again. So, anybody who knows us or listen to our little, our little intro, our little this idiot, is the intro still our little in- idiot track. This is still the idiot track. Yeah. <laughs> so, we had a trip with the church. 
called Kingdom Bound. We yes. we stayed at a, a campsite right yes. outside of what is it? New Six York. Flags, New York. Yes. Six Flags New York. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. It was it. It was Six Flags New, New York? York. Yep, absolutely. Because yeah, then we got then That's after right. the end of the trip, we went to Niagara Falls. Yes. yes. Yep. So on this trip, this was our first time as as what we we called the three amigos. Yes. That yes. that we truly rode. We rode hard. The three amigos consisted of uh, me and a guy named Dustin, a guy named Josh, and uh, Mark here. Yes. Well, Josh was the fourth amigo. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I said that out of order on yeah. purpose. Huh? So, <laughs> Josh was the fourth amigo. He was eight. He was perpetually eight years old. Yeah. He was meanwhile. He was like twelve, but we still just accused him of being like eight years old all the time. Yeah, he didn't like that. So he didn't much. like that. He still probably wouldn't like that much. Uh, I'd still call him for. You got to start coming to football games so uh, so that you can see him. Oh yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, you see Ron yeah. too. He's like an actual adult now, huh? Yep, he is. He's, oh, a, he's so a real weird. boy. I'm telling you, he went to the navy and everything. So weird. So so us uh, all of these guys that we were hanging out with. Dustin and Josh were technically cousins, right? So there's yeah. a lot of camaraderie going on here. We had known each other for a while at this point, you know, and we were all budding adults. We had a lot. I had a lot of money. You remember how much money I had on that trip? I had everybody up because yeah. the year before you didn't go, but no. the year before I went. And I didn't have any money. I went and I was like, people were having pity on me buying Yeah, anything. I'm pretty sure I had like no money. Right. So, yeah. Yo, the time you went, absolutely. Yeah. I definitely bought you stuff, but I didn't care because I hit up everybody, dude. I hit up <laughs> each each grandparent individually, and they were all still alive back then. Uh, <laughs> I hit up my mom and my dad. So... I hit up my mom and my dad. I hit up my uncle, mm -hmm. my aunt, and I probably hit up each grandparent together as well. Oh. Yeah. I had like $1,200. I can't tell you what year this was, but it was obviously it was after our first story. Yes. So we're rolling around up there and we get to this campsite and all it is is sectioned out. In this little camp zone right next to the park. You can you have direct access right in. So the Boy Scouts were there too. The boy right? yeah, the Boy Scouts that went to our church. They went yeah. there. They didn't go they to our church. They were cool though. They but... didn't even go to our church, but they were cool kids with a really big contributor to my church, Richie. He's he's a he's still an awesome dude. Yeah. He still does a lot of awesome stuff. He does a lot of awesome stuff for the church now. He, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Um, he, I liked him. Oh yeah. Lot. Him and his wife. Uh, Jeannie Lane's granddaughter. Oh, okay. That's his wife. Yeah. We're gonna have to cut this out because nobody knows any of these. Yep. Things. Oh, absolutely, we will. But anyhow, so we went to this park and we got there and we were all like, we, you, you basically they took us by the park. Now, mind you, this is the second time I'm seeing this, but it was a year before. Yeah. Mark's first time. Yes. So we're rolling through and they roll you by the park and you see all the cool shit in Six Flags. You're like, wow, that's so cool. I can't wait to go in. We've been in the car for so fucking long. We had to hear Jessica going, wow, into the microphones. Yeah. Or I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm saying into the microphone. I'm sorry, she said it into the radios. Remember we had short some shortwave walkie-talkies? Yeah. yeah, she kept it's going, wow, into those. It was terrible. She was like, I can speak, I can speak whale. <laughs> well, so we're, we're messing with these, uh, the whole time we're rolling into this park, seeing all this awesome shit, and they roll it. They roll us up between two trees, two really meh trees. I remember that. I disappeared because I didn't want to help. Yep, yeah, we uh, we all tried our best not to set up Tent City because we wanted to set up a hierarchy. I hid. We were the alpha. We were all the alpha males. We I were all hid, the alpha dude, males. I hid at a tree. I remember this. Right. I hid at a tree. I hid. I, up, I was in the tree have to do anything yeah i hid up the tree i hid in the tree he was at the bottom of the tree and i was at the top of the tree and we meanwhile i was probably like only like four or five feet off the ground maybe everybody six. was so mad oh everybody's so mad but what we did that whole time um so my my, my dearest friend steve he you you know this is coming this is gonna be a story about your brother ricky 
good old picky Ricky. <laughs> Steve unfortunately knows all of the crude things we've do- done and said about his brother, so at least we're not, you know, causing any too much ruckus, t- saying names and taking faces. So, Ricky... Nobody knows who Steve is. Nobody knows who Steve is. My friend Steve, Steve Taylor. If he listens. If he listens, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Very cool guy. So he, uh, so his brother, Ricky, dear brother, Ricky, we were, we were at the bottom of the tree Mm -hmm. and at the top of the tree, my, and we weren't much bigger or smaller than we are now. He might've had a little bit less of this. I might've had a little less. That's about it. So we're, we're big asses up in these trees. Yelling down, Ricky! <laughs> Ricky! Build the fucking tent, Ricky! Ricky! Build the tent! Build the tent, Ricky! Just the whole time going off. Throwing shit at him if we got the opportunity because we got, we weren't in a tree that would bear any fruit, of course. That's our luck. No, because could you imagine if that was a fucking crab apple tree? Oh, we would have just, we would have went to town. Could've I would have fell out of the tree. What if that's what if that's one of the alternate realities that we could have oh, been yeah. in? That I died falling out of a tree on a on a church trip. Oh my god, my mom would have been so heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, your mom would have never allowed you to go anywhere ever again. You got to hit real hard from yeah. five feet. Oh yeah, I was fat enough. Not really. <laughs> that's true. Just go straight. Crazier oh, should have happened to more people, but yeah. So All we're right. screaming. Anyways. We're screaming at this kid in this tree. And the whole time, all the adults aren't doing anything about it. It was like it was like Friday the Thirteenth. Well, they were occupied with everybody. They else. were yeah, they were building everything else. They were probably shielding us the us the special folks from all of us alpha males, ugga dugga, from uh, the rest. Of, well, the girls were right next to us, and they had to be like widen the line, mm-hmm. widen the line. Come on gotta have more room than this and i think there was a couple couples that were like they weren't married yet and they had to sleep in different tents it was there was a couple like that it was just a funny dynamic it was honestly a funny dynamic like like if me and aziza were to go on a trip like that yeah like i I would understand that i'm not allowed to sleep yep that's fine okay Mm -hmm. it's a church thing i gotcha i wouldn't be offended by it at all i would I would suggest who I'd like her to sleep with if, like, the, what? If, like, the Bozix came or something like that. If we went on a, a trip oh. like this to chaperone the kids. No, I'm no. No, you don't remember any of those pe- any of the no, other man, people? That, you don't I, remember I the don't... adults that came? No. Oh, this is I all relevant Bill to the story, I and promise. And I remember Ron. And uh, I think Bill's wife was Bill's there. Bill's wife, yeah. That's, that's and then, about it. But then, like, there was other Rabs there. And there oh, was... I remember uh, Janelle being there. Yep, and then her sister. Yeah, I don't remember that. No, I remember. Did the Gilberts I, I was go? The Gilberts go that year. I don't. I don't know. I wonder. I can't remember. We're making this story too long. We are making the story a little you're, too long. You're we, adding way. I'm too not much. adding way too much to it. But so we continued to have. Oh, this story deserves way too much. You're this like the no. You right now. You're like J.R.R. Tolkien describing the Shire. This is it's I'm like gonna Stephen Hawking pages to describe I'm a blade Stephen of grass. Hawking's all over your forehead. And I'm gonna use that a lot. Hope you know that. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna come in deep. All right, so get through the story. So. <laughs> so we continue this wonderful trip, doing nothing but. Pissing off Ron yeah. Rab the entire yeah. time, both both on purpose at first, admittedly, yes, um, by accident at one point, and then it was just kind of a continuation of us falling down the hill into oblivion. Yeah, yeah. I've never caused more veins on that man's forehead in my entire life. I mean, like. These were like some pulsating bastards. Like the this stuff was crazy. Just, just straight on his forehead. Like thump 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 thump. Ugh. I think you have problems. I do have problems because listen, that was scary for me, man. You were no 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 no. This is good part of the story. I'm telling you, you don't have to cut any of this. Listen. Ron was so, we got this gentleman so mad, so very mad. 
It was the most mad I've ever seen him in my entire life. And I was actually kind of scared, but I was Mark's bro, Chacha. I think he blamed me mostly. Mostly. Because yeah, I was like buddy. the you oldest the one. Oldest, yeah. I think I was actually over 18. I was like well, 19. And you know what? I know for a fact that Dustin's parents were there because he was the first one of us to get his ass spanked. Yeah. Get over here. Sense. Like, Dustin, go do this. Good old so, Roger. Anyways, we had like a pretty strict schedule. We had to go. We could ride rides and then we had to go like to these like certain little tents that how would I have like preaching or like some kind of so, yeah cause some kind of message yeah. some kind of thing a little concert little speech and uh, so story, the whatever. first time really nice stuff actually like right after you have a nice breakfast in the morning yeah, go yeah. go to hear preaching and stuff I, I I'll yeah admit it, yeah like, we'd go and have that even if it was have a message I didn't dis- agree with a little like, meeting I don't have to hear myself talk and we go and have a little meeting and then we'd have to go and we get to ride rides and then we go back into another one blah, like blah, like blah. lunchtime yeah yeah it was like lunchtime and then like evening time yes so little the first time stuff. we were gonna be late and I was just like I don't care let's go mm-hmm. like be late we're gonna ride this ride we're right here we're gonna ride it so we're late. We rode everything too. Yes. We didn't. We weren't. We 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 were very adventurous. Yes. I we rode on things that if we understood the mechanics behind them now, they were sketchy as AF. And this I mean, is early two thousand. It's Six Flags, man. It's Six Flags, New York. Like you That's... think, like we could have. How funny would it have been if we would have been like, hey, how about we hit take a youth group trip to Action Point or whatever? You know that? You yeah, know, I know. You know what I'm talking about? about Action Point. I mean. It's Six Flags. They're always kind of... Oh, sketchy. it was way out of our era. But it was like the era right before us. Yes. If we would have been just in a different a different town, a different time, you know, we could have easily had, like, class action point. Like, somebody could have died on yeah. our on our trip. And no, but, nobody did. Nothing bad ever really happened. We, didn't. we had great chaperones. We had a great time. We were in great yeah. hands, for the most part. Yeah. Ron almost killed us one of the nights. Um, oh wait, we're not done. Well, with, I was we're trying to get there, but then you keep adding more to the Tolkien story. The Tolkien that you're story. Trying to weave Listen, here. the Tolkien. I'm the Tolkien. Well, his his I'm get you endings to the, I'm... aren't anticlimactic, sir. Oh, I'll give you a climatic. All right, all right. So take listen, it off. Take so listen, off. you're you're missing out. We had henna tattoos. You remember the gay henna tattoos no, we had? We're not allowed I mean, to say gay, gay in a good way. I mean, gay in a we're good not way. A lot. Wait, we had henna tattoos? They were frilly. They were beautiful. Oh, yeah. We had, like, hand tattoos. Because we were like, hur, hur, hur. we got hand tattoos now. And, like, now we really have, well, you have really have hand tattoos. I'm on my way to hand tattoos. I don't really remember that. I you don't remember, remember the that? screaming and the fighting parts. You just remember and, the screaming. Uh, that's remember the only part. I wrestling that's... a Canadian chick. Yep, yep. That was pretty the wild. next The next camp over. There was, uh, they were Canadians and we made friends with the, there was one named Josh. And yeah. One, was there? Yeah. I don't know. All I know is like, they told us about like the milk being in bags and I was just like baffled. Yeah. Oh and my then gosh. I, I wrestled. We had that tent that was, a, it was the tent around the, the lunch table mm-hmm. and we got to tell all kinds of stories back and forth. Then we did something similar to this. Yeah. That was yeah. fun. We got to learn all the Canadian things. That's yeah, we learned a lot of Canadian culture that way. That was weird. Yeah, they didn't talk like Letterkenny. I wish they did, but they no. didn't. They... Well, they were from a different area. Yeah, so. yeah. I love With those Letterkenny sense. dudes. I can hang out with those. They're the they're the equivalent of us yeah. down here. Yeah, we I got we got time. They get, they got the wordplay. We don't. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. She's a man. They're maestros. I don't think they. There's probably like. A hundred guys that can talk exactly like that all day, every day. It's true. Probably not. There's not that many people in Canada. Did you know that there are more people who live more north that are United States citizens than there are Canadian citizens? Mass amount of people beli- live below the most amount of people. Sounds like fa- it fa- might be a fact. It is. It is. It is. But so anyway, back to our story. We had a wonderful time at Six Flags. We saw Kurt Cameron. You remember Kurt Cameron? I don't Cameron? know who that is. Kurt Cameron was from, uh, oh, what was it called? Show Me That Smile Again. Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Thank you. That's Aziza, oh, our, yeah. our our Jamie. She's she's there to fill in the gaps for us like this. DJ from Full House's real life brother. 
I see. I didn't even know that DJ from Full House is real life brother. Oh. He did the left the left behind movies. Remember those? Oh. That guy. He we okay. saw him speak. Do you remember now that seeing no, him speak? I mean, I don't remember seeing him speak. I remember Under Oath. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, Under Oath. So Under Oath. Under Oath was the night before. Yeah. Okay, now you're That's helping, helping you fill in gaps here. This is kick. called men- this we is mental health for your friends. We almost got sent home. We almost got sent home the night, this night. And I'm pretty sure Ron wanted to actually fight me. Yeah, absolutely, because we were ruining his time. He did not you want to drive You know what, though? He ruined Under Oath for me. Yeah. That's fair. I think, This well, man uh, is screaming at me. You deserved it. On a field, right beside the sta- the, the stage... They're playing, and I'm trying to pay attention to that, and he's yelling at me about how he's going to take me home. And and I was wrapped in on it, too. And we had that one girl, Mary, she was in on it with oh, us, yeah, too. And she right. she wasn't, she was absolved of all sin because we were definitely oh, being a bad influence. A bad we were influence. definitely, we were, we were, we weren't too big to not admit we were being a bad influence. And that's probably why Josh was absolved of sin too. But by the end of the show, oh, the next morning, the next morning was Kirk Cameron. That we was also a- saw like Mercy Me and Newsboys. And yep, shows. Newsboys. Yep, yeah. the Newsboys. I like the it's Newsboys terrible, show. Man. Terrible. No, they. I like the Newsboys. Their yeah. their show was all right. I mean, it's just Christian music. Yeah, I know. I know. But so, then, we go to New York, or we go to. Uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. We screw around there a bunch. There is a picture somewhere where I believe I have bitch tits. You might have bitch tits as well. And then there's Dustin just with his long yes. self. And I, I think Josh that might be in it in there too. Yeah. I might be tagged in it on Facebook. Yeah. I feel like it exists out there in the ether. Like in the world of the internet. We might cut this whole story, Nick. No, we don't need to cut this story. Right it's here. going great. Yep. See, there it is. Look at those bitch tits. Yes. Niagara Falls. Wow. I went three times that year. I was yeah, you pissed. did. You did. Because that's what led into our drinking story. And that was the, oh. our very first drinking story is where that actually well, leads got, into. I got the vodka and shit. Yeah, but we'll we'll <laughs> leave that story for another time. Yeah. But we had that. But that picture, if you want to show that picture to the camera real quick. Oh, I mean, if. We can like post it on our Facebook or whatever. But yeah, we'll know. we'll include that with this episode somewhere. Yeah, we'll, is what we'll, we'll do. probably make it like the the, the cover. It, yeah, know. the cover art. Oh, they're just no. I hope that nobody can. Hey, we can't. I don't want people to stare at my bitch tits from Niagara Falls. No, I want people to stare at your bitch tits. You want people to stare listen. At your tits? Oh, that's everybody fair. on my Facebook has seen me like almost naked. So. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> yeah. Um. That was that story. Yeah. Hey, all you guys and gals. This is Z, and you've been listening to the Guns and Glory podcast. Written and produced by Mark Hodge and Nick Parrish. Auto engineering by Mark Hodge. Recorded in Fat Boy Studios via Sir Nick's Love Castle. Media manager, it's me, Z. We'd like to thank all of our friends and family for the amazing support, and all of you awesome, fantastic people for listening in. So please join our Patreon for fun extras behind the scenes with the guys. You can find us at patreon.com slash guns and gory. And that is guns, A-N-D-G-O-R-Y. You can also find us on the Facebook, Instagram, and the YouTube. Guns and Gory wants to thank you again so much for listening. And please comment, like, share, 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 motherfucking share, share, seriously. Share, subscribe, carrier pigeon, robo, smo signals, smo signals. That's another one. I can definitely talk English, can't I? Smoke signals. Smoke signals.